Mesh Molder 2020 Professional brings news in its first upgrade. Two new pieces and start mesh and a cleaner layout with new possibilities. First, I'll show you how easy it is to make changes to the mesh molder layout. Moving the mesh control panel to the right, fix it on your right. To return to the previous layout, just double click on the panel. We also have the option to ignore the back faces of a mesh, a tool that will be important when working with meshes extracted from other meshes. And down here, we have the different ways to mask a given region of the mesh. We have the selection of the type lasso, rectangle, circle and the type ruler. The masked region will be a frozen region of the mesh at the time of modeling, but when used in the character positioning mode, it will act in the opposite way. That is, the marked area will be the one to be modified. Fixed bugs in several features, including undo and subdivision. New cases of failures can be reported on the Mesh Molder forum. Mesh Molder is in development to facilitate export to Epic Games Unreal Engine and the first step was the ability to export in FBX format, but a direct interconnection with the engine is being developed. Another tool added in Mesh Molder was Redo in the Edit menu, you can redo something that was undone with the Undo tool. Let's say that we wanted to save this layout, to always initialize this way. We access the menu preference and click on Save Preferences. OK, so your initial layout preferences are saved. Now let's see the icing on the cake of the new Mesh Molder 2020 Professional Upgrade. The Boolean tool. It helps to connect parts of a model without losing details, in addition to the ability to create new parts with the functions of subtraction and intersection. The tool creates a new mesh in Mesh Control, which allows the person to check how it looks and only then, if he wants to, delete the initial models. Unlike ZBrush's Dyna Mesh which can create meshes with high density so as not to lose mesh details, in Mesh Molder Boolean you connect the parts while maintaining the initial structure. 